I'm James, and in this print-on-demand tutorial for complete beginners, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to use Shopify to build your own print-on-demand store. In this video, we gonna build this amazing print-on-demand store for coffee lovers. So, let's not waste any time and get started. In this step, we gonna register at Shopify, the world's best e-commerce platform. First, Click on the link in the description in order to get a 14-day trial on Shopify. So you can start turning money before you pay anything. It's going to bring you to a page that's similar to this. Simply type in your email and click on Start Free Trial. To save some time, we're gonna skip the survey by clicking on Skip. Here, type your store name. Our store name will be Coffee Lovers. Click Next and choose your country. Here, click on Continue with Email. Choose a password and click on Create Shopify account. That will take us to the dashboard of our new Shopify store. Check your email and confirm your email address. The next step is to select a Shopify plan. Click here. You'll notice that Shopify has three plans. The major difference is the transaction fees. For most people watching this video, basic plan will do the job. Click on Choose this plan and then choose a billing cycle. The higher the period, the higher the discount. And then type your address and select payment method. And finally click on start plan. Note that build now amount is zero and you will only be charged after the trial period ends. Great job so far, you have successfully subscribed to Shopify. In this step, we gonna add an app to automate print on demand. Shopify has an app store which contains thousands of apps. Click here on add apps and then click on Shopify App Store down here. Search for an app called Printful. Printful is the most popular print-on-demand app. They have printing facilities in United States, Europe, and Asia. I have used them for a long time, and they are really the best. Click on Add App, and then Install App. Here, sign up with your email to create new account inside Printful. And then, answer the question, and click on Finish. Confirm your email address, and we are done opening new account inside Printful. Let's start designing our first product. Click on Design Product right here. This is Printful Product Catalog, which contains all items you can print on. For example, you can print on e-shirts, jackets, accessories, home and living, and many, many more. But I can hear you asking, from where I will get the designs? Actually, it's very simple. There are two major ways. First is to hire freelancers through website like Fiverr.com. You can get amazing designs with low prices. Just search for POD designs or maybe legging designs and you will get many options. The second way is to design the products yourself through a website called Canva.com. Let me show you an example. Click up here on Create Design. Choose custom size of 4050 pixels width and 5100 pixels height. Go to Elements and search for coffee. Here you will have many illustrations. Let me choose this one for example. Increase the size and center it. Go to text on the left side and add a heading. Let me write here something like, not before. And change the font type from up here. This font is one of my favorites. And then we gotta change the design color to white in order to print it on dark t-shirts. Go up here and click and share then download. Make sure to select transparent background and then hit download again. Let's go back to Printful. Under men's clothing, click on t-shirts. Choose Bella Plus which has really good material. The first thing is to choose our desired colors and sizes from here. Based on our experience, dark colors always sell more. Click on drop your design here and upload your design. Then click on apply and voila, our design is added to the t-shirt and it looks just perfect. Just make sure to resize it and center it. Next, click on Proceed to Media to select Product Mockup. I always prefer the wrinkled mockup. Go down and select it from here and make sure to assign black color to be the main mockup image. Click on Proceed to Details. Here, just add the design name before unisex t-shirt. Go down and tick Attach Size Guide. Choose Imperial and Metric. And then click on Proceed to Pricing. In this step, we can assign prices for our product. You can do it by adding percentage or fixed amount. Let me add here 30% markup. 
and click on Search Revenue. And then click on Submit to Store. The product is pushed to our Shopify store. Go back to Shopify dashboard, click on Products, and you can find the product listed here. You can do all sort of changes from here as well. Click on Preview to check product page on Shopify store. Here you can find price, colors, sizes, and it just looks amazing. Let's go back to Canva and create another design, but this time, we will do a design for mugs. Search here for mug. Choose this design for example. You can do changes from here, but let me download it as is. Go back to Printful and click on Add Product. Go down and click on Home and Living. And then choose Coffee Mugs. Let's choose the basic mug here. On the left side, you can select mug sizes to be listed on your store. Click on Drop your design here and upload the design. Move the design to right side and click on Mockup View. Now, you complete the same process and push the product to Shopify store. This is the product page inside our store and it looks just perfect. I have added many products to the store and we are gonna create product collections. Click on collections right here and then click on create collection. First change the title to t-shirts. Go down and change the collection type to manual and then hit save. Click on browse and select all the t-shirts from the product list and then click on Add. Go back and create the rest of collections. Note that home page collection is created for you by default. Click on it and add all products that you wish to show on home page. Usually it's the best selling or the products with highest margin. Now, we are gonna start working on store design. Click on online store and let's choose a theme for our store. The theme added to our store by default is called Dawn and it's one of the best. However, if you wanna change the theme, Go down and click on Visit Theme Store. Here you will have many themes, free and paid, and you can choose whatever you want, but as said, I will continue with the default theme Don. Click here on Customize to start designing our store. Here, you will have the list pages inside your store. However, most of the work will be done on home page. From here, you can view the mobile version of your store, and by default, Shopify store will be responsive. And on the left side, you can view all page sections. Let's start designing one by one. So start with announcement bar. Here you can write important info, like special discount or free shipping, etc. I'm gonna write here, free shipping worldwide. Go back and let's work on the next section, header. Here, we gonna upload store logo. Click on select image and upload. Change the custom logo width to make it fit the design. Go back and let's work on the image banner section. Let's find amazing image for our banner. Go to a website called pexels.com, which has free copyright images, and search for coffee. I like this image, click on it and download. Go back here and upload it. Change the image banner text and the subtext to something relevant to your store niche. On the rich text section, you can write about your brand, you can write about your inspiration and why you started this store. Or simply you can deactivate the eye from here and hide this section. And the featured collection section contains all products which we added to the home page collection. Go down and hide the rest of sections. The goal is to keep your store simple and clear. Click on save, otherwise we'll lose all work. Our store is almost done. Let's check mobile view. You will notice that we have amazing store in few simple steps. Go back to desktop view and let's work on product page. Select it from here. What we need to do here is to hide unnecessary sections. Go to the left side and hide these sections. And then hide image with text section and also multi column section. And you will notice that system is giving product recommendations by default, and this is really great way to maximize your sales. Click on save, and let's go to checkout page. Click on open checkout settings, and then go down to logo. Click select image, and add store logo to checkout page. Save your work and go back to home page. And now our store design is completed, and it looks just perfect. Click on exit from here to go back to dashboard. In order to view the website outside the editor, click on this little eye icon beside online store. You can check the website 
and make sure there are no errors. Now, we gonna work on header menu and website footer. Go to navigation under online store. Let's start working on the main menu. Delete all items here. Click on add menu item, then from links, go to collections and choose bags collection. Click on add and repeat the same process to add all collections. And when you're done, click on save menu and let's work now on footer menu. But first we need to add some legal pages. Go to settings and then policies. First one is the refund policy. Copy it and paste it here. I'll leave a link for this policy in the description. Go down to privacy policy and click on create from template. And do the same for terms of service policy. And for shipping policy, copy it and, and paste it here. I will leave a link in video description. And then click and save. Now, let's go back to navigation to work on footer menu. Click on it. Delete the search item. Click on add menu item, then policies, and add them one by one. I will fast forward the video to save time. Next step is add contact us page. Click on add menu item, pages then contact. Click on save. Let's have a look on the website and see the changes. You will find the header menu items are added here. And also the footer menu items are changed, but it still needs some work. Go to online store then customize. Go all the way down to footer. Untick show a mail sign up. Hide info and then go to quick links and rename it to customer care. Go back and hide our mission. Click on save and by this we are done working on header and footer menus. Go back to dashboard to start working on some important settings. Click on settings, then shipping and delivery. You will notice that Printful added doll its shipping rates, so you don't have to do anything here. Next is to work on market settings and open international sales. Click on manage and then edit and you can from here add or delete countries you wanna sell to. And when you're done, click on save. And then click here on activate to enable international selling. Next is the payment settings. Click on payments, click on choose provider, and from here you can see all available payment gateways in your location. You can also activate Shopify payments if you are located in one of the supported countries. You can also activate PayPal, and a start is more than enough. Remember that anyone can have PayPal account. And in order to add domain name to your store, click here on domains. Then buy new domain, and from here you can choose whatever domain you want in condition that it's available and not used. Once you purchase it, it will be auto-added to your store. The last step is to remove password and open our store for sales. Go to Preferences, and then go all the way down and untick Restrict Access to Visitors with Password. Click on Save, and now our store is open for business. And you can now send the store address to your friends and start promoting it. If you want more detailed POD tutorial, you can find it here on the screen. See you soon.